Hello, this is Mark McElroy. I'm here at the Electric Cave Recording Studio in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And I'm here to show you the Dr. Fishstix Type 6W Leslie 145-147 controller and show you what it can do. Here's the Leslie 145. They're the shorter of the two brotherly Leslies. Other than uh, the cabinet size, they're mechanically identical. So this demo works for either of them. So let's have a look at uh, the Leslie a little bit and talk about what a controller is and what the Leslie can do. So here's a little walk around. Here's a stock Leslie 145. As I said, 147 and 145 both have the same characteristics. A top spinning horn, a bottom spinning rotor, a tube amplifier, They've all been road hard over the years. This one you can see the cigarette butt burns. And uh, most of them have the rear baffles removed. People thought that made them louder, and maybe it did a little bit. Uh, let's focus on the power amp. If we can see in there, we have two 6550s. 12 a, a, a T7, I believe. Something in the 12 ATAX family. Working as a face splitter. And no first stage to the preamp. The Leslie's uh, relied on the Hammond organ for the first stage of preamping. So that's why if you're using anything but a Hammond organ, you'll notice this is just a power amp, no preamp. You always have to use some sort of preamp. There's a volume control, quite typically pegged. This is what's described as the console resistor. It says open 8 and 16. That puts a load on the input signal to simulate a speaker. That way people could use the output of a console organ as the input of the Leslie because Hammond console organs didn't have an output plug of any kind. Here on top we see your typical 6-pin to 6-pin cable. A 145-147 uses 6-pin to 6-pin, not 5 to 6, not any other combination. And your Leslie, if you're just getting one, should come with one. And if you're selling one, oh, sell it with it, because Without these cables, these Leslie's can be difficult to operate. So, here's the controller. The controller provides uh, operating voltage, switching information, and audio to the Leslie. It's not a preamp. A preamp controller, or a combo preamp, or a combo controller, uh, was made by Electro Music in the 70s in order to give you preamping for non Hammond instruments and the controller features. If you have a Hammond organ, uh, you don't need the preamp. The Hammond and the Leslie are ideally matched to each other. If you uh, don't have a Hammond organ, a preamp is needed. Here's the ART Tube MP, it's an exceptional value. It has a lot of gain, uh, has a tube in it, uh, very inexpensive, uh, has balanced in and out, as well as quarter inch and XLR balanced or unbalanced in and out, which makes it a handy thing to have around for all sorts of things like direct boxing and such. But today we're going to use it as the preamp for the Leslie. So there's a preamp in, power switch the six pin plug and a plug quarter inch for the switch. Any quarter inch switch will do. It just has to be latching as in it makes a click when it turns on and off. It can't be a sustain pedal unless it has a latching feature but anything that makes a contact and then lets it go when you hit it again is exactly what you need to do the speed switch. Therefore, uh, a lot of people can modify old half-moon switches, put a quarter inch on it, 
You can make your own switch or you can use a pretty standard generic foot switch uh, that often comes uh, with guitar amps any sort of thing like that just about anything so here we are plugged in ready to go the six pin to six pin cable goes to the Leslie we get the preamp warmed up we got a foot switch I have laying around slow fast six pins plugged in back there we're using the stock relay right now inside the Leslie so I got my Gibson Les Paul out and we'll just play a little guitar through it if you are an organ player of course or a keyboard player uh, it's essentially the same thing using the preamp to get a special sound using the controller to run the speaker okay well unfortunately this little DV camera might not pick up some of the magnificence on the audio but hopefully you hear the effect this is the uh, Leslie in its slow position Here's fast. Rather magnificent. And of course, while you're playing, speeding up and slowing down is the name of the game. So let's take a closer look to see what the preamp is doing. So here's the ART preamp. It has a cool little VU meter. Which is just cool. Output volume, input volume, so you get a little pre and post. You turn down your output and up your input. Start to get some distortion. The good kind. See how the uh, the green LED actually goes a little red when you start to overdrive. It's kind of cool. Has phantom power, which you won't be using, um, and a little compressor built in that you can use, and a phase reverse, which you don't necessarily have to use for anything. So it's uh, more versatile than, than the. Uh, the old vintage preamps plus you can use any preamp you like with this controller in the system you can use um, the preamp out on a guitar amp you can use some sorts of pedals you can use those modern preamp things as long as you can get some good gain to make up for that first gain stage that Leslie doesn't have you're gonna be in good shape <laughs> 